Hello guys. So welcome to the problem of ISI 2019, the objective part, problem 26. So this problem is uh, really uh, not very hard. It's um, based on the idea of smoothing of expectation. Okay, and let's see what the problem uh, demands. So x x i comma y i are i i d sample from normal zero zero one one row math. That means mu the both the means are zero of x and y and the variance are one and one and the row is a uh, corresponding correlation and it's a random so instead of like taking one two it's, we are taking a random permutation of one to n one two three order n i mean and uh, what we're defining you're defining an estimate of something and that's what we're sort of trying to find what estimate that one by n summation of xj y i j this is a uh, like it's a mean of this expect x like this corresponding quantity okay the expected value is sort of the parameter that which we are sort of trying to investigate okay let's try to understand what it gives so let's just totally dive into the problem previous one yeah so the problem is this we have this x i comma y i so let's try to understand. So Tn is given as one by n summation of i from one to, I forgot. Uh, let me see the question first. Yeah, j from one to n, xj, y, i, j. Okay. So we are required to find expectation of Tn is equal to one by n using the linearity of expectation. Expected value of x j y i j now remember this i j is a random permutation we don't know what it is okay it's itself a distribution okay so i j is actually follows uniform uh like discrete uniform one two three or ten we don't know what it is so we are finding the expected value so it's a double expectation when there's a double expectation multiple random variables what we do we need to fix one and See the expectation with the respect to other, right? And that's the idea of smoothing principle. So what we will do, we are required to find expected of value of yj, not yj, it, it looks like yj, my bad handwriting, xj and uh, yij. Okay, we need to find this. And therefore, observe that this expectation is same of sort of now observe that these are all i i d okay so therefore if like y i is independent of x j if and uh, like if i is not equal to j okay so therefore if i j doesn't take the value j that means it is independent of x j so it we can like sort of uh, like distribute like expected we can multiply like expected of a b is equal to expression of a and expression of b so that like will reduce the calculation right so let's try to understand this. So therefore, let's assume. So what we will see that expected value is a twice of expected value. So we'll assume that it's expectation of xj yij given yij that the ij equal to j okay so why this is true because observe that into probability of ij equal to j now we will take the summation over all the probabilities one to n so this is the basic idea so now we know this follows uniform one to like discrete uniform so therefore it turns out it's summation of j from one to n 1 by n expectation xj sorry it will not be this but it will be k i have done some mistake here it will not be j but it will be k it will be k ij equal to k k from 1 to because it's like k follows so ij is notational problem so it will be k from 1 to n xj y yk okay into probability of that thing 
which is 1 by n. So now observe this beautiful aspect that this is equal to what? This is equal to summation of k from 1 to n, 1 by n. Let's say, not let's do the summation, k not equal to j, 1, okay, 1 by n expectation of xj into expectation of yk. Why we can do that? Because expectation is like, multi, because xj and yk are independent, right? If i is not equal to j, so therefore xj and yk are independent if j is not equal to k. Therefore, this turns out to be zero. So what we get? We get the extra part that, so what we get over here, summation of k from 1 to n, 1 by n, expectation of x, j, y, k is equal to only 1 by n, expectation of x, j, y, j. Okay? Because that part is zero, the other rest of the part is zero. So what we get over here? We get it's 1 by n, okay? Observe it very carefully. It's 1 by n expectation of yj, comma x, uh, yj into xj into yj. Now it's observe this is same as 1 by n covariance of xj, comma yj, okay? So therefore you can write that it's 1 by n rho, time, rho times variance of yj and xj, which is equal to 1. So it's rho by n, okay? So what do you get over here? You get that expectation of that corresponding Pn is equal to 1 by n summation of j from 1 to n expectation of xj yij is equal to 1 by n summation of j from 1 to n. We have understood this is same as actually rho by n. So what we get, we get it's equal to rho by n. That's it. So therefore, this is a solution out here. And therefore, the sum is, uh, the expected value is actually rho by n. And that's what we're looking for. So therefore, it's sort of an expect, it's, we are doing this for uh, calculating the, like, it's sort of an estimate for rho maybe. That's why it's sort of, we are doing it, okay? Okay, so it was really a nice problem, but not as beautiful as others, other problem. It's just normal, natural smoothing principle. So stay tuned, stay blessed and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.